ADHD, autism, and things in that nature. But today I have Marie's teacher with me here on my channel. And I just want to be able to ask a couple questions, interview her just on Marie and her as being an amazing teacher, because she's awesome. And um, so just thank you for uh, coming in. So just sit tight and thank you, and we'll jump right into there. Okay, I would like to start with introducing myself, as you guys already know it, Naima Williams, uh, for anyone that's new to the channel. And then I'm also like to introduce Miss Bates, and um, she's also from Cloverdale Elementary. And so we're gonna go into some questions um, very briefly and uh, about my son Marie and his uh, journey and his development. So, how are you doing today? Ms. I'm good, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks for asking. Thank you, first of all, for taking your time out to do this with me. I really appreciate it. Of course, and it's Marie. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, like I said, I have a few questions for you here. Let's start off with uh, the first question is, how many years have you been a teacher? This is my 17th year in education. I have taught students for 13 years, and then I taught adults for four. Wow. Well, that's amazing. I mean, that's some years there. <laughs> and um, I can see that, you know. Um, okay, so my next question is um, the level once he started with you, like in the beginning part? Yeah, so in the beginning, Marie was below grade level. He was struggling um, end of kinder, beginning of first grade is mm -hmm. kind of where he was um, with reading and with math, both levels. Of course, of course. And, um, and I noticed that too, as you guys see, I already added that in with my other channel, that I started to see the things for myself as well. And so I was, I was really happy to see that Miss Bates, as a teacher, was really involved, and she's seen it, caught on to it too, and so that that just made it more even um, easier to really try to fix the problem. Okay. So the next question is, um, did Marie get held back in uh, second grade? Was it our first grade? Was it kindergarten? Kindergarten was it? Kindergarten, right? You did kindergarten with Miss Bigby twice. Yes, it was. Yes, kindergarten. Okay, so sorry for that. I want to make sure. Like I said, that's why I'm doing a live <laughs> interview because I want to get everything um, totally, you know, straight. So kindergarten, yes. Okay, so yes, um, he was held back in kindergarten um, because of the, um, the education level and the disabilities and things like that. So um, the next question I would like to ask is, does Marty have a IEP? Or a 504 in place? He currently has one of those in place, yes, he's okay. on an IEP. Okay, and so when he first started, was it a 504 first, right, and then the IEP? Or? Originally, yeah. For this year, he's been on an IEP straight with me, but I believe when he was in kindergarten, it did start with the 504 and then went to the IEP. Yes, okay, okay. And then can you give me like a short, um, brief, what is IEP? An IEP is an individualized education plan. So those students who are struggling um, in whatever academic area, we're gonna find what strategies are gonna work best for them and what gaps we need to fill for them and what support we need to offer them and resources. So okay. it's giving a plan for them to get them to where they need to be. Correct, correct, okay, love it. Okay, um, next question is, um, I truly believe nutrition is extremely important, as you guys know it, <laughs> as you guys know it. Um, for your children's development and learning skills. Do Maria eat um, at school or does he get um, food from home every day? It's usually food from home. There have been some days, I think you guys have been a little busy where he has had cafeteria lunch, mm -hmm. but he's very, 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 very conscious about what he gets. Yes. And if he has to get a cafeteria lunch, it's usually the salad, and he makes sure he has his fruits and vegetables back there. Oh, shoot. So oh, you're he, trying to make he, him look good today. <laughs> he does make sure when I, because we stand there at the end just to make sure they have three items, and I'm he always is one that I don't have to worry about getting those fruits and vegetables. Oh, awesome, awesome. <laughs> I love that. And because I like to make sure I add that in, because like I was sharing, that nutrition is so important that I've noticed when um, in the beginning, you know, I wasn't doing a lot of breakfast. It was either just cereal or a lot of sweets in the morning, you know, pop tarts or um, hot pockets. And, you know, I just had to do a switch up and, and make a, a big difference for both of my children. So I had to make a change for both of my sons as far as the nutrition and they're eating breakfast, lunch and dinner. And so I'd like to just add in there because um, a lot of times we are busy parents, we know that and we have so much to do, but just like to add that it does make a difference when you set aside that extra time for your child to make sure they have breakfast in the morning or if you wanna pack them a lunch, it will make a big difference in their, in their everyday life. 
Okay. So moving on to the next question is, um, how is Marie in your class? Behavior or academic? I know, right? Let's let's go with the first one, behavior. Behavior. I don't think I've had a single issue with Marie all year. Oh, wow. Maybe a little talkative, but you know, they missed collaboration with each other for a whole year. Yeah. But nothing out of the norm, nothing where it's like I'm concerned or I've ever had to have him clip down. Okay. I don't think he's ever had to clip down, honestly. Right, so he told um, me he's like, I don't even move my I'm like, hey. Yeah. Uh, perfect. He's perfect in here. Awesome. If I could have 25 Mariés, I would be a happy teacher. Oh, <laughs> love it, love it. I love that. Um, and so, and then you said behavior, what was the other one? Academic. Academic, yes. So academic, um, he's my shining student this year, honestly. Oh. Um, when I was interviewed last, a couple weeks ago by the county, and they asked me, your um, that student, that's kind of like your your shining star moment, I actually said Marie. Oh, did you? I did. So um, <laughs> the amount of growth that I've seen from your son is exponential and it makes me so proud and this is why I do what I do. Awesome, awesome. And I can see that. I can I can totally see that, um, a big difference. I got, like I was saying before we even got on the interview, is that I know it's a big difference, not just because of Marie, but it's the teacher. You know, it's, it's not just you sticking to a criteria like I said, it's the love, the support. Um, like I was saying, you're the water to my son as a tree. And I see him blossoming. And I was the, the one, as you know, I'm like, I believe I was a cheerleader, but it feels so good when you have someone else cheerleading with you. Absolutely. You know, and I always felt you were with me. And I thank you for that, you know. That's the truth. Like, I really, I had to tell you, you know, I was crying since you told me everything. I'm like, oh my God, no way. Because I, I just, I have faith, you know, I believed in, in, in my son. I believed in his teacher. I knew that that things can turn around and it's never how it seems. And I know that when you don't give up, you're going to get some type of result. Okay. Um, moving on to the next one, I would like to ask, what was Marie's reading level in the beginning? He was reading in the about kindergarten um, level when he first came in, end of kindergarten. Okay, and I do have information here too, which I'll probably uh, put a, a picture up so, that, so you can actually read and see as far as his reading, um, where he was really extremely low, and then how he um, really rised to the top um, from 2021 to 2022, as far as his reading. And was there anything like specially like really done for Mario to change for his reading or was it just him getting the um, extra attention or um, getting pulled out of class or? He does get pulled out with Miss Maju every, uh, every day except for Wednesdays. And I do think that small group helped him out a little bit. Um, she was able to identify some other gaps maybe that he had had. Okay. But I think that we talked a little bit about that. I think his confidence is mm -hmm. kind of risen for him. Yeah. And, um, I think he feels that he can do it now. So he's actually scoring comparable to his peers that yeah. are in a general ed class, education yeah. class, not on an IEP. Right. So yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> oh my God, it's tremendous amazing. Um, and I love it, I love it. Okay, all righty. Um, and so I have is, um, um, can you explain Marie's highest, um, Oh, can you um, explain Marie's progress in the classroom? So like we were just speaking about when you first started, how it was kind of lower. Mm -hmm. Was it also just his grades were low or was it also, like you said, the confidence? And what about his peers? Did he hang around friends at that time then or was that different? He's always been pretty social in class. He's never had an issue with peers. He's played. He hasn't ever complained that no one wanted to play with him. But the smile that I see now from Marie is different. I didn't see the smile in the beginning as much. Okay. And I see that smile all day now um, versus before. So I, I see academically he definitely showed up and then confidence wise and I think socially now he's starting to feel like okay yeah I'm with it. I can do it. He's loving soccer, loving mm -hmm. going out and playing. Yes yes. Doing all that so yeah. And what I also love about you as a teacher like I said too is that and this is a little off the question but I love how you um, go out the box. You know, like I said, as you guys know, and I used to work for RCOE, so I know a little bit about teachers and teacher aid, but I've never been a teacher. But I love how you 
jump out of the box, you know, with the children and, and challenge them. You know, now Mari comes home, he's like, I'm, I'm learning Mandarin. You know, I'm, let me tell you what this means, mom, and this means that. And, you know, and then it's just so exciting because it's like you're electrifying my child. You're, you're opening up his brain in so many areas that you're unlocking um, that he's not gonna forget. He's he is never one. gonna forget you. Oh my goodness. Mandarin, it's, it's hard, it's on Zoom. It's a teacher in China, but he is like this every single time. And when he comes home, he speaks it. He's got his notebook, he'll be taking that home too so he can practice it. Okay, okay, <laughs> awesome, awesome. But that's what I mean, you know, you wanna make sure that you have um, amazing teacher, where well, you can't have mine. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you right now. But you want to make sure that you know that your child also is uh, very comfortable with their teacher and making sure that they're giving them what they need and and just also um, challenging them. You know, just not always giving them like, okay, we know you're gonna pass that, so you give it to them. That's not gonna help a child's confidence, like you just said, build up. And I see that that's why his confidence built because there's so many different things he learned, and then he feels good that he learned it. He remembers it. And that, that really truly gave Marie confidence to continue to go on and want to learn more. And he wants to, like even just the other day, man, Miss Bates, you're just so amazing. <laughs> you're so amazing. I see so much my son has changed. Even yesterday, in the, I'm on, um, I, I bought him this big bean bag. Mm -hmm. I give him a lot of therapy things at home. And um, he's all jumping on, he's like, I just want to hop from on my feet on there like that. But he couldn't do it, he just kept landing on his back. He's like, oh, I can't do it, I'm gonna do it again. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna do it again, nope, not right. Didn't do it again, I said, well then hop like a frog. And you know how frogs hop, like a, like a bunny? So then he did and he got it. He's like, oh, there, there it is, mom. Yeah, I wasn't gonna give up, I wasn't gonna give up. <laughs> Gross so, mindset, good job. Yeah, but it's <laughs> like, it had to come from somewhere. I mean, you guys are amazing parents too. Of course, yes. But it takes a team. Yes, absolutely. It takes a village. You know, to raise, you know, even the principal, uh, Mr. Garcia is amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, just to be able to hear when I talk to him about a lot of different things, he could probably hear me and not make a difference, but he made a difference, you know? And that's what I, I really, really love to see that it didn't just change in school. It's not like Mario is Mario and then he gets home, he's like mm -hmm. a different Mario. Right. It's, it's flowing all through his life. Absolutely. And that's the way it should be. Your kids shouldn't just have the best behavior at school and then they're just all jumping off walls at home are being great at home and jumping on walls at school. You know, that's why you want to get a connection with your teachers, your principals, and be on the same accord. So if they're disciplined here, you need to discipline them at home. If they're rewarding them here, you need to reward them at home. And that's kind of what I've been doing as well. So uh, there's the last one for today. Oh, okay. I already did it. <laughs> it was explain how I feel about Miss Bates, oh. and I just can't talk. I can't stop about that part because I, I even was telling my uh, family about you. Like I said, even my mother-in-law was like, "Man, you know, amazing teacher. You know, it's just I'm, I'm have this paper in my purse. You know, showing people now. You know, because so many people are like, oh, well, that's just how he's gonna be, or it's genetic, or you know, well, you know, he's just gonna be a little different, or you know, he, that's just smart. You know, and I'm like, no." I don't want him to have to settle for that. I want him to have nothing but the best excellence. And um, this proof shows it. His teacher here shows it. Mom and dad is here to show it. And we just wanted to let you guys know, don't give up on your child. Always step out and speak for your child. Be the voice for your child. Become the advocate for your child. Ask questions and don't accept a no. So I just wanted to share that with you guys so much. I thank you again, Ms. Bates, for coming on. I appreciate it and continue to do what you're doing because the Lord is gonna give you so much favor like he is and longevity because you're in your purpose and your calling. Thank you. And it's an honor, I promise you, we're never gonna forget about you. Thank you, thank you so much. Yes. Love and peace. Peace, you guys.